The nation's military branches need their funding on time or else America could be endangered. That word today from the secretaries of the Army, Navy and Air Force. 13 News Now reporter Mike Gooding has the latest from Washington. The Defense Department's budget for 2020 could rise from the current $716 billion to somewhere between $733 billion and $750 billion. But the nation's service secretaries warned there can be no fooling around, no continuing resolutions, no shutdowns, no sequestration. They said there needs to be a fixed dollar amount their branches can rely on. Army Secretary Mark Esper said after nearly two decades of war, his branch's gear is simply worn out. It's as simple as this. If we do not modernize the force now, we risk losing a future conflict against Russia or China. It's that simple. Navy Secretary Richard Spencer said the challenge for his branch is guaranteeing a reliable flow of money to private industry companies which build and maintain its ships and planes, something that until this fiscal year had been very iffy. The biggest thing that we can provide right now is consistent funding to allow our partners in the private sector to spend the R&D dollars to provide us the solutions that we need. Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson concurred, noting that readiness is first and foremost. Having a budget on time and an authorization bill on time has made a tremendous difference to the Air Force this year. So we have to cost effectively modernize the force and increase its capability and change the way we fight in order to implement the national defense strategy. The Trump administration expects to deliver its fiscal 2020 budget on March 12th. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.